off to my right. You can't see it. It's the uh, Variac. I'm going to just bring this up ever so slowly. And uh, we'll watch both meters. I think this being the 6.3 uh, volt winding. A little cheapo meter here to the left. Looking at the uh, AC input to the transformer. I designed everything for uh, 120. Knowing that that will uh, vary a bit. A little fluctuation there on the uh, line input, 119, 120. And going back to my design spreadsheet, 6.62 .62 is what I calculated, unloaded. So we'll see how this holds up once we get it back in the uh, circuit itself. Let me uh, bring the Variac back down, and then we'll switch over here to the uh, yellow leads, the uh, 5 volt winding, and then we'll check the high voltage. Same thing here for the 5 volt winding. I designed it with a 5% overhead, so around 5.25 volts AC. You can see we're about 65 volts right now. Just bringing the Variac up ever so slowly. Okay, I think we're locked in there fairly close. 120, 121, 5.39 volts. So really good results there. Now let's look at the uh, high voltage winding with the center tap being the yellow lead here with the red dots. And you can see I'm bringing the uh, Variac voltage back up. And I designed the uh, windings unloaded at uh, 252 volts. So pretty close there. Let me uh, switch over to the uh, other high voltage lead right here and uh, we'll give it a check as well. So I think we're good there as well. Pretty close to the uh, 252 design. Let me go ahead and get the uh, transformer mounted back in the receiver get everything uh, wired back in. Let's uh, check the voltages under load in the uh, circuit itself, see how well this performs. Then we'll look at the uh, current consumption, the wattage, volt amps, and power factor. And now all of a sudden everyone's playing some defense. Here's what we know. Baylor can play deep. They're a top 20 scoring defense. If you guys can hear, I've got the uh, power transformer back in that I had a chance to rewind and uh, it's nice and cool so far. Again, I've only been burning this thing in for about 30 minutes or so. So I'll keep an eye on that and my calculated uh, voltages and wattage, amperage, etc. are really close. You're looking at the uh, AC input from the center tap back to uh, plate number 4 of the uh, 5Y3. Still don't have the 5W4 in. My design was uh, 240, so I'm about 241, 242, so that's close enough for me. And uh, let's move over to the other plate and uh, just make sure that we're close there as well to make sure I got my uh, turns per volt ratio correct for each winding. and 241.8 so that's uh, pretty close. Let me go back again to the other plate. So I saw 242 for a moment and 242.3 so I think my uh, counter worked correctly and I got my uh, turns correct. Of course the DC resistance between the winding is different because you've got the outer winding that uses more wire. Let's check the uh, filaments now. Let's start with the uh, 5 volt filament here. And we're at 4.9, so we're good there as well. Again, I think that voltage will go up a bit once we put the 1.5 amp 5W4 tube in place. Either way, that's fine. That's still well within 10%. Uh, 
Let's look at the uh, 6.3 volt winding. And we're at 6.1. So we're in great shape there as well. Again, the bottom side of 10% uh, would be 5.67 and the max would be about 6.9. So I'm satisfied with those results as well. Let's look at the uh, B plus voltage. I think we were shooting for what, 175 to 185, just off memory. and 175. Again, the uh, DC voltage should go up maybe 5 to 8 volts or so when I place the uh, 5W4 tube in there. If I've uh, read the uh, documentation uh, correctly there for the voltage drop. So what's up next? I need to uh, get my authentic line cord on and get the uh, primary. You can see here wired back into the uh, switch itself and a little touch up on the speaker I noticed uh, the surrounds just a little loose so I'm going to place some glue there and then we've got to get the dial scale uh, repaired as well but it's cool to uh, hear this thing play again but the thing I want you to realize is like my wife did the makeup through the tall stalks of grain. Appreciate you guys uh, following along to this point. Look for a, another video uh, here when time permits um, to uh, just walk you through the uh, transformer design put a little spreadsheet together. I'll uh, share it with you guys, make it available as well for download. And I uh, just threw everything in there to uh, kind of do the calculations for me for the uh, turns per volt, etc. Appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, take care. Stay well.